Hi, and welcome back to day 11 of the 25 days of surplus. And today's Mauser Monday, so we're going to talk about probably the most interesting Mauser I have in my collection, which oddly enough saw a second life through being surplused. In the late 1950s, the Brazilians decided that it was time to transition to the FAL rifle and that they no longer needed their original Mauser rifles, their long rifles, their short rifles, none of them. Luckily enough, they found a buyer in the Dominican Republic. So this is a Dominican Republic short rifle from 1959. Um, it has been blued over, which was common with the uh, conversion. So the original Brazilian ones had a, a bright white finish receiver. These have all been blued through. Um, but not many other changes have been made. They were re-arsenaled. The country brought them in. Um, I've seen dates as early as 1956, as late as 1962. Um, but the, like I said, these were brought in, these were refinished, they were put away in arsenals, and they really weren't used at all. So when you find these available on the market, um, they're usually not only available at a decent cost because it's just not something that a lot of people are chasing, but they're usually in really great shape because, like I said, they were re-arsenaled, they were put away, and then they, a lot of them didn't see the light of day until they made their way to the United States. But either way, and it's a uh, it's a bit of an interesting rifle, being that, like I said, it already had lived a full life in Brazilian service, and then when the rest of the world was transitioning to modern semi-automatic rifles, the Dominicans said, "This will do just fine for us until we can get our own modern rifles," and I, I'm sure it worked great in service. But just wanted to give you guys a quick look at this. And thanks for stopping by. I look forward to seeing you with the rest of 25 Days of Surplus. See ya.